There it is. Isn't it fantastic? Yeah, sure, it, it's great. Even more fantastic, the fan theories that Disney films The Little Mermaid, Frozen, Tangled, and others are all connected by that same ship. I'm Christian Nielsen, and this is HuffPost Live's exploration into the connected Disney universe. Even if you've watched the 2013 film Frozen enough times to memorize all the lyrics, you may still have missed the quick glimpse of tangled characters Rapunzel and Eugene at Elsa's coronation. Here they are again in slow motion. Yeah, there. You'll notice Rapunzel's wearing the same exact dress as this post-haircut scene from Tangled. He's crazy. Now, you could just write this off as an Easter egg for audiences, but Jennifer Lee, one of the two directors for Frozen, confirmed the two storylines are actually connected. Remember, the coronation scene in Frozen takes place three years after Elsa and Anna's parents die in an apparent shipwreck. The movie Frozen also came out three years after Tangled, which ends with Rapunzel and Eugene getting married. Elsa and Anna's parents died on their way to Rapunzel and Eugene's wedding. Please don't freak out. Let's look at a map. Tangled takes place in the fictional kingdom of Corona, but based on architecture, landscape, and style of dress, it most likely takes place in Germany, the homeland of the original story's authors, the Brothers Grimm. Now, Frozen is set in Arendelle, which was based on a town in southern Norway, so it's no stretch to assume Elsa and Anna's parents' ship sank somewhere in between those two points, off the coast of Denmark, which just so happens to be where the Little Mermaid author Hans Christian Andersen lived, in fact, there's also a statue of the mermaid in Copenhagen. All of this leads a number of Disney enthusiasts to speculate that the ship that Ariel and Flounder investigate in the 1989 classic The Little Mermaid is the same ship that presumably sank in Frozen. All right, I'm going inside. But when Chris Buck, the other director of Frozen, took part in a Reddit Ask Me Anything, he threw a wrench into the mermaid theory. When asked, where were the king and queen planning to go when they lost their lives out at sea? He said, they didn't die on the boat. They got washed up on a shore in a jungle island. The queen gave birth to a baby boy. They built a treehouse. They get eaten by a leopard. That would mean Elsa and Anna's parents became Tarzan's parents. And Buck might know. He was also one of the directors on the 1999 Disney animated film. But if what Buck said was true, and he wasn't just trolling Redditors, it's highly unlikely that Ariel and Flounder were exploring the same boat off the coast of Denmark. One obvious flaw in the Tarzan theory, though, to our knowledge, the mother in Frozen wasn't pregnant when she left for Rapunzel's wedding, and I doubt there was a photographer on the boat to capture this family moment. Another Tarzan-related theory, Belle is the grandmother of Jane, which explains how she came to own this familiar china set has a similar sense of style, and why she's drawn to a beast-like man. And those are just the theories surrounding five Disney movies. Don't even get us started on the Pixar theory. To infinity. 